In this week's Complete History Of, we are looking at America's most famous family, the Simpsons. And as with any tie-in series, some games have been good, some have been terrible, but they're all coming up in the next few minutes. Up first, we have The Simpsons Arcade from 1991. For a debut, this was surprisingly solid, offering side-scrolling four-player cult and a stack of chunky, pleasingly rendered cartoon characters from the show. Things continued to be not awful in 1991 with Bart vs. the Space Mutants. This looked enough like the show, and it rocked a cool X-ray specs mechanic that let you pick out the insidious extraterrestrials. However, the same year things took a downward turn in Bart's House of Weirdness. While it looks damn snazzy, it's harder than Homer's head, with rooms bristling with things designed to kill you. Next came Bart Simpson's Escape from Camp Deadly, a Game Boy platformer that has you being bullied by Monty Burns' nephew at a summer camp. Surely one of the most Simpsons plots ever. Bart vs. the World was yet another 1991 release, featuring a malformed Bart urging his misshapen bulk around levels that looked very little like the show. On the plus side, we did get to play as Bartman. Things continued to decline the following year, with Bart vs. the Juggernauts on the Game Boy. Based on the ancient Saturday Night Pugil Fest Gladiators, it features checkerboard basketball, podium jousting, and extreme tedium. 1992 saw the release of Bartman vs. Radioactive Man on the Game Gear and NES. And as great as Bartman is, the game itself was a bit fiddly and distinctly average. Things finally went Bart-free with the itchy and scratchy game in 1992. Disappointingly, it was a little bit crap, with wonky controls and very little of the show's mock schlock horror fun. Next came the misleading Krusty's Funhouse, a game about murdering rats which didn't take place in a house and wasn't much fun. And we also got Bart's Nightmare on the NES and Mega Drive the same year. This had a suitably Simpsons vibe, but it's more notable for the troubled production which encouraged game designer Bill Williams to eventually leave the game industry. That year also gave us Virtual Bart on the Mega Drive and SNES, a collection of varied mini-games that at least looked like the show. Itchy and Scratchy in Mini Golf Madness followed that, a title that combined golf and axe murder and being moderately good. A year later came Bart and the Beanstalk on the Game Boy, which of course featured Homer as the giant. And in 1996, the Simpsons Cartoon Studio let you create your own Simpsons cartoons using characters, sounds, music and locations from the show. 1997 gave us Virtual Springfield, a point-and-click adventure set in the Simpsons' hometown. This had decent voice acting, it was full of jokes, and Springfield actually looked right. Then came a three-year wait for The Simpsons Bowling, a Konami arcade game that unfortunately didn't live up to their original effort. Night of the Living Treehouse of Horror followed that, a fairly decent Game Boy Color take on the famous Simpsons Halloween specials. We also got Simpsons Wrestling the same year, which was technically weak but packed with the show's trademark humour. Next came The Simpsons Road Rage, a blatant and shameless rip-off of Crazy Taxi that led to Sega filing a lawsuit against Fox Interactive and EA. In 2002 came the horrendous Simpsons skateboarding, followed the next year by the actually really excellent Hit and Run, an action adventure based on GTA 3. It was considered the best Simpsons game to date, as well as a cunning satire of Grand Theft Auto. After that we had to wait four years for the Simpsons game, which thankfully was absolutely worth it. We also got Minutes to Meltdown on mobile the same year. Another mobile game followed in 2009 with Itchy and Scratchy Land, as well as the re-release of The Simpsons Arcade on iOS. Finally, in 2002, we got the all-conquering Simpsons Tapped Out, a decent SimCity-style build-em-up full of donut-based microtransactions designed to rob you of all of your cash. And that's all we've got for today, but if you enjoyed this video, or if you just wish Flanders was dead, please hit like now. Don't forget to subscribe now to see more stuff like this in the future, and you can click here to see every Batman game ever in 5 minutes, or here to see our complete history of trees.